Hello, how's it going? In today's video, I'm covering the Cursed Tower and Fall of the Guardian from Chronicle Volume 2. So let's go! You may be thinking Stormwind's victory in the last video was just pure luck, but shut up, you're wrong. It bloody wasn't. Lothar and King Lane knew exactly what they were doing because they'd learned many of the Horde's battle plans from Khadgar, and he'd learned them from Garona because they'd become really close sugar tits. Gordan knew of this, but he didn't necessarily give a crap. He could see exactly what Garona was doing and saying, but he was learning a lot about Medivh, and that was way more valuable to him than the risk posed to the Orcs' war effort. Khadgar and Garona had grown increasingly concerned about Medivh. Karazhan itself had grown darker and weirder. There were more spirits floating about through the halls than ever before, and both Khadgar and Garona had been subjected to horrific visions of the past, present and future. Medivh himself had changed as well. His mood swings had gone, which was great, but his fits of rage had been replaced with fits of, well, nothing. It was as if he felt nothing at all, and it was bloody creepy. But his withdrawal from humanity seemed to directly coincide with the growing weirdness in Karazhan. So Khadgar went to the tower's library, desperate to find a book with some clue about what was happening. And he discovered an ancient tome that seemed to do just that. An old technique that allowed a skilled mage to evoke visions of specific memories. Unfortunately, this spell proved unreliable, and Khadgar often found himself looking at visions he really didn't want to see like Moreau's touching himself. After a bit of trial and error, and a lot of Moreau's touching himself, Khadgar decided to use the spell a bit differently. Maybe he could see the origin of the rift that connected Azeroth to the Orcs' homeworld. And this actually worked, but it revealed something that was possibly more horrifying than the visions of Moreau's jerk in the gherkin. Both Khadgar and Garona watched in horror as they witnessed Medivh confront Gul'dan on Draenor, and convince the Shadow Council to create the Dark Portal and invade Azeroth. But, as the vision faded away, and they both went to look at each other like, What a twist! Medivh arrived, and he wasn't happy. The half-orc and human barely escaped his wrath, and fled to Stormwind to warn the king of the Guardian's treason. Khadgar ensured that Garona was allowed to enter the city and accompany him to meet the king. Which was a really good idea, because Gul'dan was still watching through Garona's eyes, and when he realised who she was meeting, he immediately compelled her to do some murder. However, Garona managed to resist this strange urge and wasn't entirely sure why she suddenly felt like murdering a bloke she'd just met. King Lane had a hard time accepting that Medivh was responsible for the Horde's invasion, but Lothar was like, yeah, makes sense. He trusted Khadgar. After all, they'd met one time in a forest, so that makes them best buds or something. So Lothar charged his mate Gavinrad with overseeing Stormwind's defences, and then he set out with Garona and Khadgar to lead a war party to Karazhan. He vowed to capture or kill his childhood friend, albeit with a heavy heart, and Gul'dan crapped his pants. He was yet to learn the location of the Tomb of Sargeras, and he just couldn't allow Medivh to die before revealing that information. So, as the war party arrived at Karazhan, Gul'dan reached out to Medivh's mind. At first, the Guardian's thoughts were impenetrable. He was just too strong. But as the battle commenced, he grew distracted, so Gul'dan desperately started rummaging around in his memories to find what he was looking for. Much like the fight with Aegwyn, Sargeras assumed control of Medivh. The battle was crazy. To quote Taliesin and Evertel, the whole thing was a shit show. Sargeras attempted to use Gul'dan's mental chains on Garona in order to turn her against her allies. And she just got really bloody confused, so she cheesed it. Also, Khadgar almost died. Sargeras tried to rip his soul from his body, and when that didn't work, he tried to drain his life force. This prematurely aged Khadgar, and he turned into the sexy silver fox he is now. However, Khadgar managed to end it by putting a knife in his mentor's chest. Sargeras' spirit was forced out of Medivh's body and banished into the depths of the Twisting Nether. As Medivh lay dying, the full weight of his actions hit him, and he was a bit sad about it. He'd failed as the Guardian, but Khadgar and the others had accomplished what he never could. They'd vanquished Sargeras and ruined his plans. With his last ounce of strength, he uttered the words, Cheers, mates, and he died. Unfortunately, his death had a little bit of a catastrophic effect on the surrounding region. Fell energy exploded out of Karazhan into the land. The nearby region of Brightwood became blighted and would become known forevermore as Duskwood. There were also unforeseen circumstances for the Horde as well. When Medivh was defeated, Gul'dan was still rummaging about in his mind. Although the Warlock had found what he was looking for, the shock of the Guardian's death struck Gul'dan and he fell into a bloody coma. And we're leaving it there! In the next Volume 2 video, Orgrim is going to challenge Blackhand, and then we're going to see the second Siege of Stormwind. As always, thanks very much to those of you who support the channel as patrons. Link's in the description if anyone's interested in supporting the channel in that way. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!